In Minnesota, last July, a 12 year old boy was shot and injured outside the Zanewood Rec Center in Brooklyn Park. And since then, the community has been looking for ways to heal from that. And that's how a podcast made by kids for kids came to be. Sharon Yu shows us how it's lifting their voices, giving them a place to unleash their creativity and also a safe spot to talk about trauma. A rec center can be many things. We provide field trips and learning opportunities and we just help the kids grow better here. At Zanewood, they're focused on fostering creativity, putting teens in the zone. I get people coming up to me asking me if I was the one really on the recording and I'm like, yeah. More than a sounding board for talented kids like Faith Wickland. Actually having it done in a studio feels a, a lot different. It feels a lot more professional. We got them in here and they're good. They're really good, you know what I mean? They're talented. They, we have singers, rappers. Storytellers who aren't shy about putting themselves out there. Teenagers' point of view on how we live life and how we grew up. Alea Smith and Fanta Kamara, part of the cohort that puts out The Wood, Welcome to the Wood Podcast, where we let the youth pick the topic, the questions, and I pick their brain. A podcast all about being a kid. It was nice for an adult to hear it from a kid's perspective, from multiple kids, too. And we was all talking about it. A platform on which they can all relate. To feel like you're not going through whatever you're going through alone, and you're not the only yeah. person that has that experience. Which at Zanewood comes with open arms, open hearts, free of charge. Our point is to have the kids have a better place to be at that they don't have to be on the streets. They could come here and talk to us. We're another ear for the kids. Pretty cool. If you want to check out that podcast on the Brooklyn Park City's website, you can do so or on other podcast streaming platforms like Spotify. It's there as well. And fun fact, the city invests back into the kids by also paying them for appearances per episode. No, it's like a job. Pretty cool.